In a sleepy little town of long ago, there was a terrible problem. Rats. The problem was rats. They lived in closets and bedrooms, score rooms, upstairs and down, all over town. They scurried, hurried, squeaked and shrieked. Even the cats had been driven away by the wild, ugly rats. The mayor had tried poison, rat traps, rat catchers, and everything she could think of. But nothing could rid the town of its terrible problem. Then one day, a strange fellow arrived, dressed in a rainbow of colors. He was kind of tall and thin and had strange little eyes and he played a pipe. I can rid your village of every single rat, but you must pay me what I ask. Anything? Yes, yes anything. Said all the villagers. Then we will make it 100 pounds. Agreed. Yes, agreed. Said all the villagers. And so the piper played his pipe up one street and down the next, passing through every corner of the village. The rats tumbled out of cracks, windows, doors, and from every hiding place imaginable. The piper led the squealing parade of rats to the edge of the river. He went into a boat and continued to play his pipe while he drifted into deep water. The rats followed him because, of course, rats swim. But when the tide flowed out, the rats sank into the river mud and expired. The piper then returned to shore. And as the rats were swept out to sea by the fast flowing water, he came back to the mayor for his payment. The mayor and the villagers shook their heads. The town money chest was almost empty. A mighty fiscal deficit lay over the land. 100 pounds seemed to them far too much money for such a simple act. Come now, people, a bargain is a bargain. Would you threaten us? Very well. I know other tunes, and they may not please you so well. Uh, <laughs> the mayor and the villagers laughed at the piper and turned their backs. So the piper began to play. The tune was joyful, full of laughter and merry play. And as he paced the streets, children began to follow him. At first, just a few followed. But soon there were dozens, then hundreds of children, big ones, other big ones, and, uh, well, a few small ones. They danced and joined hands and laughed and followed the piper right out of the village. The mayor stood stunned with surprise along with some of the other elders of the village. And then terrible fear crept into their souls as the laughter of their children faded forever into the distant hills. The end. Introducing the players, Chevy Ekus as the mayor. Gus Souter as the Pied Piper. And as the villagers, children, and rats, Brent Morgan, Pat Lewis, Dave Tyson, Andy Halliburton, and, and down on the ground, a rat, Chris Hillis, and next to her, with those little legs, Laura Emerson. <laughs>